G'day punters, it's been a while since I've done a video on the Land Cruiser. I've just come back from Europe, as some of you may already know from the last video I dropped on a flight back into Heathrow. So in self-isolation at the moment, as my brother-in-law suggests, I should put some stuff up because I've got nothing better to do, um, save I need some parts. So what I'm working on at the moment is what I need for uh, air tank installation. See, so I've got an air tank here which I bought from ARB. I've got some right angle fittings into that already. I've got a shut-off valve here. I'm going to isolate the airbag system, the pneumatics from the air tank and the rest of the air supply that I'm going to install. So, um, I've got some air horns in behind this toolbox. I've shown a video of that previously. Uh, it's an electric solenoid, so it's electrically operated, uh, air supplied um, air horns. I'm also going to install another air outlet out here similar to what I've got off the compressor here so I've got an external air supply if I need that <clears throat> I've got to um, for the air horns in here also run some electrical down to the back for the electric solenoid I'm gonna pick up a uh, wire from the existing horns which is this little loom here the reason I've got to pick up that loom in there is because the air horns are, or the electric horns are down in here and I just can't get into the wiring there. So I'm going to split that open and have a look and see which is the positive wire and then just uh, split into it and run a wire <coughs> from there. Across over here to my relay block, I'll put another relay in here, have it fused, pick up a positive power supply, probably from over here run the relay to earth and the other side of the positive supply run it back down to the solenoid on the top of the air horns just to give you an idea i've done a mud map up on my dartboard so i've done air supply over this side top left is the compressor and i've got a split off here t-piece this side i've got that stop valve which i've already shown you to the airbags then it's going to come down to the air tank Outside the bottom side of the air tank, I'm going to put a filter, a water separator. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'll show you what I've picked up. Outside the air filter, I'm going to split it up. So I have an air supply. This will be external to the um, toolbox. I'll have the air supply out the back near where I've got the water already. And then the air supply down to the air horns. The electrical um, horns at the top. That's the loom, going to splice off, that's existing wiring, coming down into the positive side of the solenoid, positive side of the battery in, earth from the solenoid, so when my air electrical horns are arced up, solenoid will trip, power up the solenoid and the air horns, there'll be air to the air horns all the time because I'll leave the compressor on, and the, also the air tank will be aired up as well, so I'll get a blast of air out there. Borough law suggested, um, Sticking a switch in here, mount it inside the dash so that I can isolate the air horns from the electric air horns just in case the coppers around. Now that's uh, something to think about. Air filter or oh, water separator. Pick this up from um, a local air supply shop. It's actually uh, for spray guns and stuff. I'm not sure it's going to manage 130 psi. It might blow the shit out of it. I guess we'll find out. That's the external supply. Air supply I've got. I've picked that up. That's an ARB fitting. Uh, the bracket is something I had made previously for um, Bush Ranger Glind hot water system. And the air fitting is the same as the ARB air hoses. I had an old air hose which all split up, so I've just uh, repurposed the old air fitting. Uh, my next job is to uh, jump online and go to the airbag man and some pneumatic shops and uh, see if I can get some supplies and short. Uh, a bulkhead fitting, and I've used bulkhead fittings in here previously in your previous videos. Store them in there, and the outlet sides are just inside where the fuel fill is. So I've got to source some supplies, and um, once I get those in, I should be able to start that job. So the next video I hope will probably be towards the end of next week, depending on the supply of those parts. And hopefully I'll have the um, air tank in and the air horn's working. All right, till next time, punters, cheers.